I love to live, you know, with a style and a certain phony put on elegance. Like, as Barry said, you know, I guess I want to be a superstar, but I really can't work for it. I really, you know, I have all these clothes, and, but I don't have the ideas that behind them. Um, uh, I wish I was Peter Pan. One boy is uh, the greatest con artist you ever saw. Uh, some guy took him to New York with him, you know, paid the ticket. Yeah. I don't know, I didn't tell you that because this just happened That's less cute. than a year ago. Well, oh, really? You know, just less than a year ago. Oh. Then, then, uh, then somebody else came along and took him to uh, Denmark with him. Then somebody else came along and took him to uh, Paris with him, you know. And he never sends home. Well, he'll, he'll uh, wire for a $50 emergency fund once in a while. And uh, then some guy, somebody brings him back to New York, and then, well, we had to fly him back from New York to Los Angeles. Yeah, yeah, yeah we had, I had to do that. But uh, he's so personal, you know, he just moves in with an outfit, and he'll eat uh, a lunch, you know, you take him to lunch, and he'll eat four steaks and a couple of chickens, really, no strain, three or four meals at a sitting eight or nine salads, and then he doesn't eat for about three or four days. He doesn't sleep. Won't he'll, he'll go without sleep for uh, for three days. Doesn't sleep. How old is he now? About 95. <laughs> How old is he? No, he's 20. He's 20 years old. 20? Yeah, just the health is just ruined. Completely ruined. Is it? No. Um, he'll, never, he'll never make it to 25. Does he have any talents at all? Uh, Which would provide a living? Uh, yeah, he's going to end up as a salesman. He's got a personality. That's about all. He's got yeah. Yuck. <laughs> the hell? Way to go. Well, that's true. It's terrible. It's terrible. But I, that's all I can see. And I, in, in fact, um, one thing, uh, he, he provides a tremendous n uh, n nervous uh, uh, exposure. You. Thank you. Tremendous nervous exposure. I mean, the whole house is almost on his side when he's there. It's just... Uh, it's Panic, you mean? Chaos. Yeah. Well, this is the way it was with Susan. Too. And that house is chunk like mm -hmm. that. God damn it! <laughs> right? And I Jesus, know. you come to that table in the morning when you try to get that group together, you know, and give them a few words, and it's just an absolute seething roundup of, of mass hysteria. That that is one thing. I mean, he can really tear the whole thing apart. And does it really, honestly? And does it week after week, month after month, and you can. There's nothing you can do. You can tear the poor kid apart. And he still just does it. Do you know what is so weird? Um, now that I look back on my life, as far as I've gotten, I keep thinking, God, I sure did some things that if I had, if I had been a grown-up and known about the things that I, I do, or I had done. That you have done? Uh -huh, everything. Uh, well, there was, it you know, seemed to be like there was so much room for um, improvement. No, 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 no. You're getting the wrong idea. I'm sorry. No, um, there was there was so much. I mean, I stood apart from so everybody I could imagine. I stood apart from. Yeah. Like you know, when I was 13, I um, dyed my hair silver and did yeah. all that. Just and just think, if it was energy that was being wasted because. I don't know. It was like being being a little mouse and trapped in in a box or something, in a little white room. I'm not saying that we li led such you know a super average ordinary life, but but you went into your room one year and you didn't come out for about two more years. I know. Except at night when you lurched out the window. I know, but it was all frustration. You know, I felt so frustrated at being. I don't know. It, there there's always been something in me that I could never understand, like. I couldn't ever judge anything that I did or thought. I couldn't judge it on the standards that, that were given to me because, um, I mean, they just didn't fit. It was like two different pieces that. of a puzzle. But then again, I couldn't, I didn't have anything else to judge, judge anything on, you know? And, and I well, didn't understand the standards in the first place. <laughs> but, um, well, you were pretty hard to understand yourself. Would you read that first poem to me again? That one? Yeah. 
Yeah, I sure will. If you don't feel like it, then. No, I want to. Mm -hmm. Nothing can be bigger than a promise by L. Loud. <laughs> Nothing can be bigger than a promise. Nothing can be smaller than the truth. Nothing can be wiser than a liar, mm -hmm. unless you know exactly what is true. And by the way, have you heard in whispers, the truth is all we need and nothing more. We've all come such a long way for this party, but can you tell me what we're waiting for? I really hate to ask these silly questions, because I was with the crowd that came along. I should know exactly what was doing before I entered in to flow along. But here we are upon this murky seashore. No caucus race will ever get us dry. I heard it said that truth will come and warn us, but to wait upon the truth is but a lie.